Today we're talking about why Obi-Wan Kenobi is so amazing in Attack of the Clones and in particular why he is an amazing detective. So let's mm -hmm. talk about it. Okay, so here we are to talk about Obi-Wan Kenobi in Attack of the Clones. Yes. Spoiler alert, one of the most underrated movies in all of Star Wars. For real. Possibly all time. Yes. Seriously, it is <laughs> such a good movie. Um, but we're going to be talking about Obi-Wan Kenobi in particular. And recently we've heard this and had this discussion about how it's really actually a great detective film. Mm -hmm. Because when you isolate Obi-Wan Kenobi in particular, he plays that role perfectly yeah he does and so um there, there's a lot we can touch on in this but just for the sake of this video why don't you start us off on why obi-wan kenobi is such a great detective in attack of the clones obi-wan is just amazing overall in this movie and i'll just Truth. do a couple um highlights before i focus in on the detective one of my favorite things of Obi-Wan in Attack of the Clones is when the little slug guys, I don't know, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what they're called. The slithery slugs. The slith slithery centipede slug thing. Because they have legs, so they're yeah, not yeah, slugs. Yeah. So they're more not cent slugs. Cent 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 centipede things. Um, but I love Obi-Wan's like initial reaction is to jump out the window and like grab the thing. Like he's just like... He has a mission and he's going to do whatever it takes to complete that mission. And what I love about it is uh, you see his skill in action. You see his like just how smart he is, like witty he is. Um, I think that's a, that scene is like a perfect example of Obi-Wan because even before he's talking to Anakin, it's just a total Obi-Wan conversation with Anakin. And then he just jumps out a window and then he, you know, catches the the changeling like it's just such a great scene so that's honestly one of my favorite scenes and that's what starts this detective journey um because they're like wait a minute who who does who's doing this who's after padme um so i really really like that uh to i'll start there um and then we'll touch because uh, i have other moments but they're towards the end of the movie so i don't want to jump too far ahead so i'll pass it back to you cool feel so professional passing it back and <laughs> forth you know, for, for me, I this is no surprise to you, but maybe for people who don't know me, I'm a big film buff. Mm -hmm. I, I love cinema, and one of my favorite genres of cinema is film noir, and that's like the old school black and white, true crime, detective stories, very dark, very gritty, and Attack of the Clones has this undercurrent of influence of film noir, and in particular, you have... You know, like, let's just pick it up from the changeling. If Obi-Wan getting basically the kind of poison dart, you mm -hmm. know, that is that he saw a bounty hunter, you know, assassinate another bounty hunter with. Right. And, you know, he's trying to figure out what's going on. And uh, he ends up in Dexter's diner. Mm -hmm. Dexter's pretty cool. I, I want to see more of Dexter. Yeah. we That would be really cool to see more of him. Yeah. Just, just a... Let's just get a movie about his life. That'd be yeah, cool. Yeah, that guy knows some things, and there's obviously a reason why. Yeah, and it, it's totally one of those like parking garage moments of like I'm I'm going to my sources, mm -hmm. like I know the guy who knows stuff. Yeah, and um, the, they're old buddies, and he gets he gets a name, you know, he gets mm -hmm. the Kaminoans, mm -hmm. and so then he goes to the archives, and they start. It's digging there. through the archives and perhaps they're incomplete it's perhaps not there they're incomplete. and so you start getting more of this mystery where it's like hold up stuff starting to get a little weird mm -hmm. right and the great detective in obi-wan is like no i'm gonna go to yoda right now i'm, now I'm gonna go a little deeper mm -hmm. and we're gonna look for this missing system and just the way things keep progressing to the point of him uh finding Camino mm -hmm. and then the way he just kind of and we've talked about this how he know. just plays it off he's like oh yes the clone army 
yeah i know exactly what you're talking about like he just shows up having no idea what's going on but he's just like i want to get to the bottom of this Mm -hmm. and again all of this is from an assassination attempt and that yeah criminal being assassinated Mm -hmm. so he's like i want to figure more stuff out and then there's a lot more to it than he thought yeah and you know he plays a whole clone army <laughs> he plays this cool and he's like jedi master sifo diaz like he's been dead for how many years you know and it's like but he, he just keeps like digging and uncovering so he's like not only am i trying to find this guy now i'm trying to uncover this stuff so he's like juggling both of those at the same time right and all of this you know culminates in him even fighting Django Fett and, and pursuing him. Mm-hmm. Um, but before I love the moving Jango on fight too much. Yeah. Of Obi-Wan and Jenga. That's another cool one because uh, Jenga's obviously a really good fighter and he's going up against a Jedi and he's, you know, holding his own. But it, you even just see Obi-Wan adapting. He's not fighting uh, how he normally fights. He, he realizes he has to fight mm-hmm. differently. And so even that's a really cool part um, of Obi-Wan in Attack of the Clones. He's a, he's a warrior. And he doesn't just always do the same thing. He does what's needed for um, the situation. A hundred percent. And, you know, looking at it through the, the filter of, of detective, I'm like, that makes him a great detective because he can handle the unexpected. Because mm-hmm. once you start snooping around in criminal activities like that, it's like, you know, yeah. you, you've, you've got to be ready. Yeah. <laughs> um, but then the way he trails um, Django and Boba, his son. Mm-hmm. Um, he tricks him yeah it's just so so brilliant and then he stumbles uh upon geonosis and then so he's not only un not only again it fascinates me because really the uh, a big part of film noir is uh red herrings where it's essentially like you you think you're going this way but it's really a distraction for the bigger thing Mm -hmm. and very very intelligently the red herring i believe is really that, uh, or may, you could maybe call it a MacGuffin at the same time, but I believe the red herring is the assassination dart. Mm. And it's like, you really think it's about, oh, I'm like, who's this assassin? All of this. Right. But then you find out, oh, well, it's actually something a lot bigger. Right. And that's, doesn't, that's not really important. And so, yes, there is a, a bit of uh, progressing the story with that dart, but he uncovered the clone army. Mm-hmm. Now he's uncovered the droid army and the production there Mm -hmm. and uh, just it's so fascinating you know um how he's uh reporting back and he's finding all this stuff you know Mm -hmm. and uh to have it end up at the you know obviously we get the battle of geonosis and Mm -hmm. petronaki arena and all this stuff but for me um for him being a detective i just love how he was persistent he didn't give up he kept digging Mm-hmm. the warrior aspects you know all that just great mm-hmm. what i also really love is he's funny like obi-wan's always funny but even when he's you know um tied up and then anakin and padme come in and he's like kind of what are you doing here like i told you guys to stay back he's like we're here to rescue you and obi-wan's like oh you're doing a great job or something like that and it's just he always makes me laugh and i love that in that moment when he's tied up and these crazy animals are gonna come at him he's still just calm cool collected chill obi-wan kenobi like he's Mm -hmm. always the same person uh, and i love that about him oh yeah uh so do you have uh i mean pretty much at that point we've reached the the end of attack of the clones Mm -hmm. Uh, there's so much more to obi-wan kenobi than just a detective in this movie but this we figured this would be a really cool little bent to look at so uh do you have any final thoughts on obi-wan kenobi obi-wan kenobi is awesome there we go. That's a great final thought. <laughs> well, hey, if you've made it this far in the video, would you uh, hit the like button, subscribe, leave a comment below. All that helps us uh, get this out in front of other people and just keep this conversation about why Star Wars is so amazing. Mm-hmm. And we can keep this going. But hey, with that, we are two Star Wars nerds and may the force be with you always. always.